I'm Leather Rock. Welcome to my channel. And today I'm going to grab the rest of these purples and I'm going to put them in because I did my trial run with this color here and I decided it's not quite the bright color that I want. It just doesn't look purple enough. It looks too brown. So I'm going to stick with what has worked with me for years. This one here is a punky colored violet, and this right here is a punky colored plum. The violet and the plum are very, very similar. The, uh, the plum looks like it's a little tiny bit more fuchsia than the violet is, but you know what? I'm going to use it in the mirror here. And I'm going to start close to where that first purple was. One thing I don't like about these jar dyes is they are actually a paste. It's not a liquid. So it doesn't just pour on like pancake syrup. You actually have to rub it in section by section and it can take a lot longer having to do that to each individual piece. And now this there should not be a need to untangle at this stage of the game because I just brushed it out again just before turning the camera on. One of the reasons why I had to delay putting the color in was because all of a sudden I had to do some recovery of things of mine that should not have been thrown out and because uh, things were disappearing and uh, I had to actually retrieve things letters and pictures and memorabilia from my first couple of years in California and stuff that should have been just given to me actually you know. but it wasn't but it's a good thing I found them when I did so while I was looking for more things it didn't make sense for me to have some freshly dyed purple hair that could too easily be floating around and you know. I'm going to have to be really careful around there because of the banner. I didn't think to take that down before putting this stuff in. Another thing I have to be careful about with these paste dyes, if you your hair is a little bit too overprocessed, and if you can tell by it being too stretchy, then you really have to be careful when you're applying a paste kind of dye like this because you don't want to inevitably stretch and break your hair off. Your hair, you've got to treat it like it's very delicate.
tell right away that this is more of a blue-violet thing. It doesn't look blue. And I'm not going for a blue look. Apologize that Garfield did not make his appearance right now. Unfortunately, the other person who lives here insists on keeping his door propped open, and he's encouraging uh, Garfield to stay in there. And so Garfield has there's lots of carpet in that room, so the cat is wherever, and I can't. What I don't like is when that room is not even occupied, but the door's propped open and the cat will go in there. And I'll be looking and looking and looking for the cat, and sometimes the other person knows where the cat is and doesn't give me the courtesy of letting me know. And I waste so much time. You know, I wait to get the cat to go on video. And, you know, especially if the video is something that really, really needs him in it. For a hair dye video, it's not as, as important, but still. smells good. Doesn't have any of that really kind of annoying, very chemical kind of smell that the first kind of hair dye do. But then again, if you judge hair dye smells for what you expect a permanent dye to smell like, then I wouldn't say that the first dye was that unusual. that it seemed like it had the makings of a two ingredient mix that you mix on application and the fact that it packaged them both side by side in the same pouch I don't know what kind of technology that is it's a shame I didn't like that color better I was at first going to try to go for a really totally symmetrical look and block off the same amount on this side 
and do another packet of this for the other side. But I don't want to do that partly because it's a different application process. You've got to put it on for exactly 18 and 20 minutes, wash it out, dry it, and then put everything else on it. I just want to put colors on, sleep in it, rinse out when it's convenient, and get on with my life. I also don't want the rest of my videos to have my hair unfinished. I actually got at Dollar Tree a couple years ago, and it just says B color, semi-permanent hair color, and it's supposed to be purple. And this looks bluer than either of these two, so I'm not doing it too close to the front. I'm going to do this more in the back. And one benefit of doing more than one shade of purple, or of any color for that matter, it gives you more of a dimensional look. I had to close my windows because there's never at least a little bit of liveliness. And right now it's 5.56 a.m. so the sun is just starting to come up. Another thing, this really cheap dye, it might not be very long lasting so that is another thing to consider.
I'm going to cut open this and get every little bit of this color out. The thing with these dyes, if you don't saturate every strand, it just doesn't come out well. Unless you are using a very dark color, then you don't mind it looking like a watercolor. don't want to stick rubber gloves with this because this dye it stains the skin more than it does the hair sometimes and you have callous or rough skin boy this stuff will really stain it like if you play guitar you know I feel like I just wiped some dye on my mouth, so let me get my wash off. It's always good to have a wet washcloth for a sudden cleanup anyway. Alright, let's finish off the rest of it with this. I'm just going to open this up now. Okay. 
sucks when you even up my hair dye. There is a store who's in Ventnor. And they went out of business. And it just so happens, I showed up at the store and I saw the sign saying going out of business, everything half off. And I was only using cash. I had limited myself to $50. And so even though I got half price hair dye and stuff, you know you're still going to use it up. And this is the last little jar of the purple dye. Just because I can, I'm going to squirt some teal way in the back here. And this teal dye, believe it or not, was a, somebody threw out this complete unopened tube of it. And it's like, why the hell would you throw out unopened, unused hair dye? And this is that vegetable based semi permanent dye. Right next to it, I'm going to do some blue. That will help prevent the blue and the, pur the, the purple and the green from muddying up. And you know how yellow and purple, that makes brown. So you really have to be careful about what colors are right next to each other. Take a nice squirt of this blue. I'm going to be using blue, kind of like a transition shade. You always want to keep that in the back of the head so that if you're getting photographed, it's not the first color you see. Especially if you're worried about maybe getting a picture for your ID. And you definitely want a picture that reflects the what you want your image to be, right? So. It's okay if, now this is a, a liquid instead of a paint. So you see you can actually squeeze it. What I'm doing here is I'm just putting a bunch right at the nape of the neck that nobody's going to see unless I pull my hair up.
Now usually this would be where I'd have somebody spot me to tell me if there's any totally white spots. Any spots where all you see is the bleached blonde hair. So what I can do is test for even though you're wearing rubber gloves, you can kind of tell what wet feels like. Because wet is cooler to touch than the rest of the scalp. So I'm just going to go and I'm going to spot color the scalp. You know, when you get your hair done in the salon, you don't have to worry about being able to see because somebody's looking above your head. But if you're doing it by yourself and you don't have one of those three-way mirrors, you've got to... Go by feel, you really do. thing I like to do if I have missed a little bit of coverage so it looks transparent, I like to take a color that's similar but not quite the same. So this is purple, right? Take this flash of blue and just squeeze it right on here. What it is is that's going to take at the blondest parts, but the parts that already have the purple is not going to really do too much. So now I'm going to see where else it looks like blonde is peeking through. I'm gonna, and this gives highlights. What do you guys think? There we go. To do is wrap the hair 
around itself so that the heat from the scalp warms this here. And then I find plastic to wrap it around. And this is where I act like I was actually prepared. Surprise! I'm prepared. Now all I have to do is, the knot is still on here, and I have to undo it. Now if I'm laying down on and sleeping, I want to try to have my ears covered, but once I'm up and moving around, you want to have them uncovered, because otherwise you're going to be hearing this crackling sound all the time. Well, actually, no, I will uncover them now, but you have the option of covering the ears so that you don't rub your hair dye, <coughs> excuse me, on a pillowcase. A lot of people take an extra towel and they put it on their pillowcase and then they lay down just in case, which I might do. And you see, when I turn this off, I will just wash my face because obviously you don't want dye to stain your face. All right, I will show what this color looks like when I wash it out. And that's gonna be like at least eight hours from now. So I will, I guess, talk to you tomorrow. Bye.